Using AI to build websites is all fun, but professional web design and development still happens in Figma and page builders. And I think I finally found a plugin that does a proper conversion from Figma to Elementor. Is it perfect? No. But can it save you tons of time if you regularly convert things from Figma to Elementor? Yes. And that's mainly because this plugin respects a professional workflow. It doesn't assume all kinds of things because for example, it lets you lock layers together to make sure that not everything is separated. It lets you tag widgets up front so that almost everything is already set up once you reach Elementor. It automatically converts your design to auto layout if you haven't done that already. It allows you to set up your responsive settings and it lets you synchronize your colors and typography straight to the Elementor site settings. And let me remind you, this wasn't the case with their competitor called Ficknell that I made a video about two years ago. Ficknell also had a Figma to Elementor converter, but their converter was so bad, it added so much unnecessary shit to your website that it ended up being faster to just build it yourself than to actually use their plugin. So I didn't end up using it. And I think they themselves also realized that this was not an easy job to do and they gave up. <laughs> Literally, Fignell.com is offline, this company doesn't exist anymore. But that doesn't mean that the desire from us to convert things from Figma to Elementor is gone. And one company realized that and they were like, hey, we're gonna make a new, better version than Figma. It's called UI Chemi, and it basically does the exact same thing. It converts Figma to WordPress. They do even more than Elementor, actually. Here you can see it's Elementor, Gutenberg, and Bricks. And so they basically solved what Fignell did wrong. And I actually didn't know they exist, but I came across them on WordCamp, the WordPress event, and I was quite intrigued because I wanted a tool like this for years and they told me that they've basically fixed all the issues that Fignell had. They even watched my video and used that as inspiration. So I got quite excited when they showed me their version on their laptop, but I also told them that their UI needed some work. As you guys know, I give a lot about good UX design because UX design is actually what I studied in school. And so sometimes I help WordPress companies improve their products. Most of the time that's for money, but with them, I was like, I want a tool like this. This would be so cool to have for my own workflow and for you guys. So I offered them a free redesign. They said, sure, go ahead. So I did a live stream. I started in the live stream. It was a little bit hard to do it live. So I spent one or two more days redesigning all of the screens. I showed it to them and they loved it. And I just want to show a few screens to you that are redesigned. So here on the left, you can see the original design. I started <laughs> adding a lot of comments. Uh, we started discussing things and then I made a redesign. I mainly worked on improving the hierarchy, simple UI things, colors, sizing, padding, but also removing a lot of clicks. For example, over here, here on the left, you first had to select an option and then you could continue. Here, you can start with one click. This is another example where they combined two functionalities into one screen, so I separated it and made it a lot cleaner. I also changed a lot of the copy to make it less technical and easier to follow. I added the progress bar here at the top. I added some instructions on every single screen so you know where you are, you know what you have to do. I made sure that it felt a lot more like Elementor. So for example, over here, you can see that difference. This was their original design. And these are literally the widgets from Elementor because you're tagging widgets with this plugin. This screen I am the most proud of. And here you can see very clearly that I made an effort to make sure that only the interactable elements are white so that your brain doesn't have to process a lot. 
And here's another big difference. Here on the left, you have your Elementor things. And here on the right, you have your Figma things. So it makes it easy to understand that you're connecting your Figma stuff here to Elementor. And I also have to give a lot of credits to UI Kemi themselves. They constantly kept me up to date with update videos like this. And I slowly saw my redesign coming to life, which was really cool. And so I am incredibly proud to say that the new version of UI Kemi is now available in the Figma plugin library. And you can see the redesign in its full glory. So if you want to test it for yourself, you can do that on livingwithpixels.com slash software. I actually recommend them. So if you go to this link, that's my affiliate link, by the way, you can go to pricing and then get started with the free plan. Yeah, they actually allow five exports per month for free, which is actually quite a lot because as you can see here, one credit is 10,000 pixels of design height. So it's actually more than five pages. So you can basically start with your first website for free and check it out already. I already converted two full pages successfully. One is this yoga website that I designed myself, which is multi-page. And also EV car website, which actually has quite a bit of animations as well. It's a really cool and not super boring design. And after the conversion, it was 90% accurate. So I only had to make a few small adjustments. But I have to be honest about the fact that it's not super easy to do. You have to know how to prepare your design in Figma because even if you use auto layout, it's not always perfect. You have to know what specific values you want to use if you want to benefit from the box container. You have to know what you can do with background visuals or with floating elements like this with absolute positioning. It is possible, but you need to know how to work with it. You need to, of course, prepare your colors and typography pretty well. So I think an in-depth tutorial is definitely needed. So I will be working on that because I am very excited to bring this to the community, but I am super happy that we now have a way to convert a Figma design into Elementor so that we don't have to do everything manually because you know what happened? Since I've been playing around with these AI tools like Lovable and Bolt, I've become a little bit less motivated to build everything by hand. I still like it sometimes, but I don't know about you, but AI kind of like motivates me to work faster and push more stuff out. So anything I can do to improve my speed is great. And knowing how to properly use this tool can definitely help me to speed up my workflow. And so I am very happy with that because I never have enough time. <laughs> and again, it's not perfect. It does make some mistakes, but I've had situations where it did like 80 percent of the work and so then the only thing you have to do is of course connect all of your dynamic content header footer uh, but at least the layout stuff and the colors and all of the little details are done and i also have to say that their responsive manager still needs some work i'm still working with them to improve this part because i'm not happy with the current version right now but if this works then also tablet and mobile will automatically be scaled down which is going to be super awesome it's already in there but it's not at the level that I want it to be. So I will wait for that until I make my main tutorial. But yeah, then we're gonna have a really cool tool. So I hope that you liked this behind the scenes story of what happens sometimes with a brand collaboration. And I don't know if you can see it from my face, but I am, I am incredibly happy. Um, I am proud and I hope that this tool will make many of you happy. Again, you can already test it for free with their free plan. And then soon I will make a proper tutorial. Let me know what you think if you have already tested the new version that is out since this week. And of course, I want to thank the team UI Kemi. They have been super great and I love working with companies like this to bring cool tools to everyone and if you want to support my work then of course make sure to use my affiliate link that is livingwithpixels.com slash uikemi even if you use the free version and that's all i hope to see you in the next video